bomb. She bomb. He's out. Guys, he's out. I think the referee needs to leave. He's out. He's out. You twisted pervert. Stay away from me. And stay away from my mama. And stay away from my mama's buddy. You see the ball right here. The ball's tab and he ran. You're gonna remember, boys, it's gonna suck to be you. And the man that two weeks ago cost Eric St. Clair a big win here in the middle of the ring, J.C. Dykes Jr. No, 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 no. I didn't do a thing. He did. He was sitting in the corner So what your problem is? What do you want? A consolation prize? An elliptical machine? Weights? Weight Watchers? What? I'm getting real tired of your mouth. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do to you what I did to Malenko with the attitude adjustment. Lace them up. Get your butt in the ring. So you're going to do to me what you did to Malenko. Yeah. The challenge is going to lose. And, uh, he's getting some advice over here. I don't. Fans, in case you don't I... recognize that voice, <laughs> that's from the Cole Honda Chevy. Uh, I'm sorry, the Cole Honda Nissan Subaru Kia commercials. It's the, the deal man. The deal Thank man you. is joining us right here at ringside. Sure. He has joined us here because just uh, in a couple days, in a couple uh Episodes here, you will see him as one of the judges in the boxing versus wrestler wow, match that's exciting right here too. for West Virginia Championship Wrestling. Deal man, we're glad to have you here. How are you doing? Man, I'm fantastic. Uh, it's just a great night for wrestling and a great night for West Virginia wrestling. And oh boy, we're having some fun out here tonight. Well, you know, the I'm fans sure, are enjoying it. The fans are having a great time here in Princeton, West Virginia, and I'm sure you're kind of wondering what's going on with a, a, a grown man, a gentleman by the name of J.C. Dykes Jr. Uh, being managed by a, uh, a rubber ducky. Well. But it seems to have helped him. You know, I, yeah, I, I mean, he, he seems to be doing pretty good with it. I, I don't uh, know if you've seen our program, you know, but it seems to help him. Yeah, we have a competitor that, well, now I won't even go there. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a rubber ducky? Why not? You yeah. know. <laughs> well, it's helping him here as one uh, – Eric St. Clair is in the ring. He is our heavyweight champion, folks. Eric's and a tough actor, but I tell you what, uh, this this junior guy here, he seems to be able to bring it. Yeah, he can he can definitely bring it. He just for the record, he is a uh, former WVCW tag team champion with his tag team partner MC Dykes, uh, part of the Dykes Riot Squad. MC Dykes is out for the next couple weeks, couple months, maybe. We hope to see him back soon, maybe in the tur turnbuckle uh, in the corner of his man. Obviously, the faster man, if as opposed says to running, yeah. would be J.C. Dykes Jr. I think uh, Eric St. Clair has had one too many visits at the uh, Ryan's Buffet. Yeah, yeah, that's a no doubt about it. Uh... Eric St. Clair looks a little winded there. Hey, when you come down to see us, you're going to save like Eric Sinclair and all you can eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, uh, that's true the right savings there. savings are really good. Dude. Nobody can complain about that. Look at this guy. He's, you know, is, to be the size he is, he's agile. He gets, Eric Sinclair? Oh, absolutely. Yes, I, I will give him credit for that, Eric Sinclair. But let me not surpass what he did. I, you know, I don't know if you were here a couple weeks ago or seen it on television, but he laid out Chris Malenko right there in the middle of the floor. He completely laid him out after he lost. He lost an impromptu match, and we see a big crisscross there. Uh, J.C. Dykes Jr. has stopped. Eric St. Clair has continued to run. Look up. Oh, he's oh, stepped on his toe. That's going to leave a mark. Oh, boy. I tell you what, J.C. Dykes Jr. Uh. has definitely gotten into the head of one Eric St. Clair. That's kind of what – that's what this business is about. You got to mentally wear out your opponent before you physically wear out your opponent. It's all in the duck. Eric St. Clair complaining about his foot getting stomped on. Referee Cody Green replied to him, well, you looked. Yeah. 
Eric St. Clair definitely distraught here and what's going on as we see the two circling the bandwagon. I think he'll again. regroup. I do. I just think he's got the – yeah, he's smiling now. He's he's getting ready to come back. Well, deal, man, you could be right about this. He could be regrouping as we see the lock, two uh -oh. lock, lock horns in the middle of the ring. J.C. Dykes Jr. with a big side headlock there. Let it be known, we want to welcome you. You are a, uh, a former television champion. You held that title for one week. Uh, great things going on with that television title now. So we see another crisscross here. Eric St. Clair says, stop, look up. Oh, oh again. J.C. Dykes Jr. stops on the foot again. Fool me once, fool me twice, you know, shame on me. Yeah, exactly oh, there. Oh, Lord. Eric St. Clair thought he was going to get one up on uh, J.C. Dykes Jr., but does not. Much to the delight of our technical producer here, Tommy Lester. He, he's uh, laughing and clapping all the way here, along with all the fans here in Princeton, West Virginia, at the Princeton Rec Center. We're glad each and every one of you have joined us right here on the Two Virginia CW Network right here at noon uh, and the Fayette County um, channel that we're on, too, on Monday nights at, at 8 o'clock. It's a great show wherever you see it. And this, uh, this match is heating up. This, this match is heating up. They're just getting started, fans. You know, the play time's about over. Eric St. Clair will play for a little bit, but then he's ready to keep going as we see them. A suplex sadus. Now, there, you don't read that every day. Yeah. <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you can't find that one at the Walmart. <laughs> no, I probably – or at the Sam's Club, <laughs> no, which I'm no, quite, kind of not. fond of. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Eric St. Clair complaining of J.C. Dykes Jr. biting his fingers, you know. Um, I didn't see anything. I mean, he could have bit him. I don't know. I, I was watching the monitor, but, uh, you know, I'm you not real it? happy with Eric St. Clair after what happened uh, a couple weeks ago to Chris Malenko. I still think Chris Malenko should be the WVCW heavyweight champion. But, but it, wasn't a, it wasn't a championship match. It, it was, was not the a ring championship match. The mat, you know, I mean, let's, let's go by the rules. Uh, he, you mentioned that, you know, I, I have to say, for any of the guys that get in that ring, uh, I can personally say, Wow. Yep. It isn't what you think it is. That is true as we see. Oh, as you, you hit that floor pretty hard. It hurts. Yeah. As you see, J.C. Dykes Jr. just trips up Eric St. Clair there. He's getting in his head. He is. He's definitely in his head. The referee, Cody Green, trying to argue with Eric St. Clair. Eric doesn't have the crowd either. As he doesn't now, have the crowd. No, as, as now as J.C. Dykes Jr. gets on his knees and wants to test his strength from down there, Eric St. Clair now gets back up as the two circle again. Oh, oh, and he just, <laughs> J.C. Dykes Jr. with a big reach around on to Eric St. Clair. You know, he's definitely. Get a room, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. He's definitely getting into his head as much as he can. All right, yeah. All right, here we go. As once again, they're circling each other. I mean, I think this I think this is J.C.'s way of more uh, getting into the head as we go for a quick uh -oh. score here. One, two, two no. Two. Two count by J.C. Dykes Jr. That was almost a big upset. Oh, he, he just strips him up. Get the man on his back. He might not be able to roll over. Kind of what is that, like a turtle? You get him on their back and they can't yeah. roll over? It could be like Eric St. Clair here. He tripped him up. Now what? He wants referee Cody Green to come. One, two, kick out by Eric St. Clair. almost got pinned by the ref. You're in rough. What? what? J.C. Dykes said it was a two count. What? His little controversy now. Uh oh, what? What's he pulling out? What's he got in? What's I he got in his hands? I have no idea. Referee Cody Green telling him, "I count you wrestle." What's he, what he just Eric put under? What's he got behind his back? I don't know. What? What is that? And uh, I, Co fans, Cody, I really look can't up see behind it. his back, ref. Come on. I really can't see it. Oh, well, oh, you just smacked him with something. Oh, his glove. He smacked him with his glove that he wears. His little. <laughs> Eric St. Clair asked him, who does that? I, isn't that like That's an insult. for a duel? Don't they have to duel now? Someone gets That's the... That's a serious diss someone there. Someone get the, the swords Here we and go. guns. Oh! And, oh, oh, Eric St. Clair, play Coming time back here. Oh, the comeback trail. That's going to leave a mark. Oh, now he's choking the man in the ring. Choking the man right there. Looking over at here saying, this is how you do it. You know, I've been in the ring with Eric St. Clair. He forced me in the ring with him. He beat the living tar out of me. But I still have to say, even with all that, I still say Chris Malenko. Oh, the clothesline. I hope he gets well soon and comes back. And I hope J.C. Dykes Jr. Uh, is able to get this as well. As we hear the duck, we hear the duck talking. I'm not sure where he's at, but I heard him squeaking. 
Oh. Uh oh. Oh, big oh, chin boy. buster. Oh, does. boy. Yep, that's going to lead. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, into the turnbuckle all the way. Oh. Rams his shoulder into the post as we see the siren coming out to check on her man. I think he's going to win this by default. He's I don't know. He may. He's got a tank out, but Eric St. Clair is going to break that if referee Cody Green sees him. Eric St. Clair should just stay in the ring and get the win. As, uh -oh. he, as he scares uh, the siren, siren tries to kick him in the butt, but then thinks better of it. As he breaks the count there, the count of uh -oh. eight. They're going to get back in on time. They sure do. All right, do this match man. is back on. Oh! He's getting a little upset now. This is getting personal. The crowd getting behind J.C. Oh, yeah. Dykes Jr. right here. Eric, uh -oh. there it is. Eric St. Clair with the, the claw. big claw right there in the oh. middle of the ring. Dragging the man by his head to the middle of the ring here. That's a tough one to get out of there. Uh, if Even As, his cheerleader ain't going to help him with the claw. Yeah, his it, no, I mean, she can't do anything. She's just on the uh, outside of the ring as we see two, two count there. Cody Green. Could this be uh, it? This is, no, no. J.C. Dykes Jr. grabbing a handful of something else, a claw oh, of his own. Oh, it's a bromance, I tell you. Oh. A grown man's claw. As that probably didn't feel good there where Cody Green oh. knocked it off and walks right into a big boot into the midsection of one J.C. Dykes Jr. All right, this could change. Now he's got him over the ring. He, he didn't call him for touching the rope, and you can't bring it in there. I tell you what, he does have it over the rope. The rules, a, are, the rules are a little loose here. Yeah, he has. A, he had a five count, but he broke it on the count of four as he's hitting him on the top of the head there. Uh -oh. oh. Comes back real nice with one of his own. What's going to happen Forearm next? Forearm whipped him there. Comes in. Oh, oh a big nice. super Good. kick. Could this be one, it? One, two, two three. three. Oh, my goodness, he did it. He did it. He beat the my Lord. WCW heavyweight champion. Wow. J.C. Dice Jr. with that super kick pin. The WBCW Heavyweight Champion, although it was a non-title match. It was a non-title match. What's referee Cody Green doing? Referee Cody Green. Wait a second. Given the belt not a title to match. Dykes Jr. Not a title match. It was a non-title match. There you go. Eric St. Clair well, coming right to and seeing, officially, that, uh, but, you seeing know. that the uh, the belt was handed to J.C. Dykes Jr. It sounds like the crowd wanted to see someone else yeah, holding that JC belt. Yeah, the J.C. Dykes Jr. wants uh -oh, to see him with the belt uh -oh. as they're fighting over the belt right here. Now that, What's going to happen now? Oh, oh, as he lets him go. Sweetheart. Eric St. Clair ends up on his back once again. That's two big losses you know, to I've him. I've tried everything. I've tried compromise. I've tried talking, anything. I've tried head games. I've tried comedy. You've seen that last time. Tonight, I'm going to try some seriousness. Eric St. Clair, that belt belongs to me. You know it belongs to me. And it's time that it comes off your waist into mine. This, this is a match that wasn't aired on television. We got a last man standing non-title match here at Scotty Blaze taking on the champion, J.C. Dykes Jr. Stand, and joining me here at the broadcast booth is our WVCW Junior Heavyweight Champion, That's right. John Heartbreak. John Heartbreak. Oh, he just super kicked him in the crotch. I missed that. That looked painful. Oh, chopped there by J.C. Dykes Jr. onto Scotty Blaze. Big shoulder thrust into the corner, J.C. On to Scotty Blaze, shoots, oh, tries to shoot Scotty Blaze off, but can't. Too much mass there of Scotty Blaze. And he's just mm. holding on to the ropes on the other side. Really John. hard kicks there to the gut. Yeah, really hard kicks there, shoots him off. In case Watch you guys this. don't know. Here oh, we go. big mm. running shoulder thrust into the gut, knocking all the air out of Scotty Blaze. In case you guys don't know, John Heartbreak, our junior heavyweight champion, has uh, been junior heavyweight champion here for a while. And he doesn't like anybody. No, don't like anybody, especially you. 
You know what I do like? I do like Siren right here. This chick running around the ring in her skimpy clothes. That's pretty cool. Hey, commentary is only John Heartbreak can bring to you. That's as right. we see in this last One man standing kind. match, uh, J.C. Dykes Jr. is basically choking Scott, Scotty Blaze in the turnbuckle. Scotty Blaze comes right back out with a big eye rake right there. Oh, yeah, that's another thing to remember, fans. In a last man standing match, there are no rules. Uh, there are no rules as he hits him with big forearms to the side of the head. Oh, oh and a big chop across the chest oh, of uh, J.C. Dykes Jr. I still have scars. Scotty Blaze is chasing this title. It's chased J.C. Dykes Jr. Now, the last time these two met uh, in an exclusive match right here for – on, online and, and on DVD purposes, um, it ended with both men hitting a suplex off the middle rope and knocking both men out. Both mm. men had to be carried out of the ring as we see a double Ooh. butterfly suplex right there by Scotty Blaze. See, I don't know why you post things like this on the internet. It's not like any of these West Virginia idiots even own a computer. Well, no, just because you don't know how to turn one on doesn't mean that nobody else oh, does. Oh, I know how to... Oh, and see a big kick right to the side of the head of J.C. Dykes Jr. by Scotty Blaze. J.C. Dykes Jr. is halfway outside the ring there as it backs our cameraman up just a little bit. Scotty Blaze, oh, with a big mm. couple big uh, right hands to the, the gut of Scotty Blaze and a big chin buster there by J.C. Dykes Jr. That's a jawbreaker. That's not a chin buster, Foster. You really don't like him. No, I don't. You're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, if you, Chin think buster. You do, if you think you can do so good, have at it. Well, there, there was not a chin buster right there. I just want you to know that. Fans. Fans. Who gives a crap? Fans. Are you always this chipper? Yeah, always. You should see me at home when I'm comfortable. See, this right here is how you wear down an opponent, right here. You lock on a hold, and they don't move. They just feel pain, you know, like Stretch I do. Man out a that, bit. That's, that's what I feel, you know, when, when you're around. Just pain. Pain? It's like I'm getting chopped like that. It's just pain. You Never feel sound. trapped and you feel pain? No, like I'm getting chopped, Foster. Oh. Chopped. With every word that comes out of your mouth, Scotty Blaze's hand smacks me in the face. That's what it feels like. We can arrange that. Shut your mouth now. Oh. Oh. Oh, Scotty Blaze yelling at Siren there. Did you just call her a skank? I think so. Well. Well, Scotty Blaze and Siren having some words out there. And he just steps right on the back of J.C. Dykes Jr. There's a lot of weight that just hit his back. I, j I just want y'all to know that. Yeah, there's a lot of weight just standing on his back, you know. That's let it be known, Scotty Blaze here. Uh, getting pushed back into the ropes. Shoots off Shoot by... Off, man. Oh, big back elbow by J.C. Dykes Jr. Mm. Beautiful. You know, I'm not a big J.C. Dykes fan, but... J.C. Dykes Jr. Jr. I'm sorry. Jr. Jr. Why does he got to be so anal about that? You always stress that you're the junior heavyweight champion because you're not big enough to be a heavyweight champion. Excuse me? Excuse me? All oh, right. as we get to nine, got to be up by the count of ten. And they and J.C. Dykes Jr. made it up to his feet and then jumped right on the back of Scotty Blaze, who was almost up himself. Looks like J.C.'s trying to put him out with a sleeper here. Scotty Blaze out with a sleeper? I don't think so. No. See, he's, he's still got life in him. Still got life. He's like a fire. <laughs> you get it? Fire, blaze, heat miser, you know? It's nice. See, I can make little stupid jokes, too. <laughs> as, as our cameraman was obviously changing positions there, we went to a different camera, and we see here as Scotty Blaze looks like he may, may be out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Could this be it? No, that's Could not he it. have knocked him out with a sleeper? It better not be it. Better not. Nope. He As didn't, a Scotty Blaze like, fan. Okay. Looks like what, you're a fan of somebody? I didn't think you liked anybody. I'm a Scotty Blaze fan. Scotty Blaze made it to his feet. 
JC trying to jump back up on his back once again. And he's got him, but it looks like Scotty may be thinking of something here. Yep. Oh, shoves him right into the turnbuckle. <laughs> See, those turnbuckles are padded, but there's not really enough there to really pad anything. It hurts. Well, you're so witty with your commentary. What? You're so witty with your commentary. Witty? Yeah, witty. What is witty? Yeah. Is that a character on Toy Story? That's Woody. That's Woody? <laughs> As JC hits Scotty Blaze outside, too close to us. Uh, way too close to us. Why are you hugging your belt? Are you afraid somebody's going to do something to it? I'm not hugging my belt. I'm petting my belt. There's no. a difference. Well. Okay, we have a very intimate relationship. Looks like J.C. Dice Jr. is going underneath the ring, but he can't seem to find what he's looking for. Scotty Blaze still down on one knee over here. What's he looking for, his dignity? It's not under the ring. For. Oh, really? Oh, oh, big clothesline onto the floor goes Scotty Blaze. Uh-oh, oh, JC's sticks. found what he wanted. Kendo sticks. Those things feel just as bad as they sound. Have you been hit with, like, everything that you know how everything feels? Well, right now I'm getting hit with your attitude, and I don't like it, so you need to shut your mouth. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Scotty Blaze stops that from happening as that he just about JC got right disastrous, and as a Scotty Blaze fan, I got a little nervous. But now I'm happy. Check this out. Now see, this is what and happens. Oh! Yes. This is what happens when you bring weapons out. Yes. Tear him up, Scotty. Tear him up. Hit him harder. Or choke him. That works, too. But what are you coaching over here? I'm, I'm help training Scotty Blaze. Why? Because I'm, I'm good at what I do. A junior heavyweight champion? What does that mean? Well, the crowd definitely wanting more as J.C. Dykes Jr. is down on all four. Scotty Blaze definitely in control of this non-title match here, right here on this ex exclusive as we see a, a, an ace crusher there. Mm. What did you just say? A face crusher? Ace. An ace crusher. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? No. That's more of a face buster. All right. I don't know what an ace crusher is. What is this? She's a... She's assisting him in this match. That's unfair. Why See is that if, unfair? If Scotty Blaze hit him with that. Oh. All right, it'd be a little harder. And right across the chest as well, JC hit Scotty Blaze with that kendo stick. And now, oh, he just breaks it around oh. the neck of Scotty Blaze. See, I, I don't like that. I'm not a fan. It's not okay. You see the remnants of it laying there in the floor. The remnants, that's a good word for you. It is It is a good word. As Scotty Blaze here is taking it to J.C. Dykes Jr. in this non-title match. J.C. falling all over the fans and everything else. So you fans can't. may not know this, but oh. J.C. Dykes is 24% plastic. How is that? He's just been hit with so many things, all of his... His bones and everything, they're plastic. Scotty Blaze just swung and missed and hit the steel post with that uh, chair there. It kind of shook his hands a little bit there. J.C. Dykes may be 24% plastic, but I'll tell you right now, that chair's 100% metal. I thought you were going somewhere else with that, and I was trying to stop you there, but as we but see here. You think I have to push the envelope in every sense of the word? Yes. Yeah, you're right. See, now that's pushing the envelope right there. See, that's wrong. That's wrong. You don't hit another man there. Oh! oh what is that? Well, what is that? You know who not to play in pool. <laughs> Tells him to wake up. JC has had enough of Scotty Blaze tormenting him over the last couple months. Tormenting him. Tormenting him. He is tormenting him. You remember when he him. brought out Siren? Yeah, I remember when and he the, kidnapped and the duct tape. That, was, that was weird. A guy like Scotty Blaze brings oh, duct tape. Big move there good. by Scotty Blaze. 
JC has a standing 10 count here. Referees at three. It's up to six, seven, eight. The fans can hear Foster, we know. Nine, yeah, but you can't hear on television oh, right you here. You can, you can hear on television. Well, I was helping them count. As, as he made it up, both men uh -oh. made it back up to their feet. I've been on the other end of this before. Something old, something new, right there by Scotty Blaze. Mm. Now, Scotty Blaze has to make it back up to his feet as well. You know, but did any of that, did, did the spinning around or anything like that take it out of Scotty Blaze as well? Uh, I've been on the other end of that before, and let me tell you something, it definitely Jay takes a good hunk of energy out of you. It may not seem like it. Oh, referee was getting ready to count mm. 10, but JC threw a punch on Scotty Blaze, and that stopped the count. Mm. And he just hits him with a big thrust to the Chops throat. through the throat. Oh, Drop kick to the midsection area of Scotty Blaze. JC getting back up to his feet. Come on, get on him, Blaze. As we see here, JC kind of positioning Scotty Blaze. There we go. Could this be a big spinning DDT? We saw this last time. Well, no, last time it was a big suplex by the two. I think he's going for the suplex. See, he don't know it, but he's trying to. He's trying to get suplexed. That's the point of this last man standing match. Neither man was able to get up last time, so they said, well, let's have a last man standing match, and we'll lay there till we can get up. Scotty Blaze looks like and he's calling it for it again. Here it goes. I'm telling you. Teasing the big suplex. Is he going to do it again? No, he gets hit with a head bunny. He lands head first right on that kendo stick. What's he doing? See, he's so tired he can't even stand up. Both men are down now. He don't even have enough energy to sit down. That's not a lot of energy. Well, he, he fell off the ropes. Still, I mean, for you, inter you idiots at home, all right? Oh, he hit Scotty Blaze once again with the kendo stick. Head, back, chest, uh. back, head. Just and now terrible. just clotheslines him with it. Oh, big leg drop there by J.C. Dykes Jr. Mm. It's not looking good for us Blaze fans, all four of us. As we see J.C. Dykes Jr. See how sadistic can you be? Sirens on on the the ring apron, sing and break his neck. That's disgusting. He goes up to the top. Oh. Hits him with a big headbutt into the chair onto Scotty Blaze. See, I, I think that did its number on both men. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. And 10. Ring the bell. The referee has told him to ring the bell. Barely making it up. J.C. Dykes Jr. Oh, that didn't last long. All you Dykes out there. Ladies and gentlemen, Dyke there's your fans. winner. J.C. Dykes Jr. fans, we want to thank you for joining us on this web exclusive. I want to thank you, John Heartbreak, our oh, junior yeah. heavyweight champion fans. We'll see you next yeah, time so in your local arena. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match, barely making the 10 count, J.C. Dykes Jr.